हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इन डेप्थ सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस माई नेम इज पूजा द्विवेदी सो आई यू ड्रीमिंग दैट वन डे विल कम वेर यू विल नॉट बी नीडिंग टू स्टिक इन अ जैम और अ ट्रैफिक बट रैदर फ्लाई टू योर ऑफिस टू योर फ्रेंड्स वेडिंग और टू एनी पार्टी और एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लेस योर ड्रीम्स माइट कम ट्रू एंड दैट इज थ्रू अ फ्लाइंग कैब और अ फ्लाइंग टैक्सी येस एन इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लाइंग टैक्सी वॉज रिसेंटली अनवेल्ड इन दुबई ड्यूरिंग जी आई टी ई एक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विच इज द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट टेक एग्जिबिशन मूविंग अहेड लेट एस टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ जी एस मेन्स पेपर थर्ड इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट वी नो इट एंड ऑल्सो प्रिलिमिनरी फैक्ट्स मूविंग अहेड लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज वॉट इज अ फ्लाइंग टैक्सी इट इज एन एयर टैक्सी ऑल्सो नोन एज एन एयर टैक्सी ऑल्सो नोन एज अर्बन एयर मोबिलिटी वेहीकल इट्स अ स्मॉल कमर्शियल एयरक्राफ्ट विच कैन प्रोवाइड शॉर्ट फ्लाइट नीडेड एट द टाइम दैट मीन्स ऑन डिमांड एंड इट इज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव फॉर ट्रेवल इन अर्बन सेंटर्स एज वी नो द टैक्सीज विच आर ऑन द रोड दे आर प्रूविंग टू बी इन एफिशियंट ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ कंजेशन बट इफ एन एयर टैक्सी कम्स इन टू बींग हाउ वंडरफुल विल बी दैट मूविंग अहेड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट्स डेब्यू इन दुबई वाई आर वी डिस्कसिंग इट ड्यूरिंग जी आई टी ई एक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू marvelous numbers of new techs ranging from artificial intelligence metaverse everything was exhibited in which the electric air taxi the world's first electric air taxi was unveiled that was in dubai okay so from dubai we can understand that it uh, dubai knew that this day is going to come how in 2020 dubai passed a new regulation to help flying taxis and drones deliver uh, deliveries to take off alongside a network of mini airports within the city so infrastructure was also envisioned this particular electric vehicle taxi is by gonzo based xpeng in aviation it affiliate tested out the xpeng x2 in the marina district in dubai the beauty of this particular design is it is very sleek that it, that means it will not take a lot of space it can carry two passengers and it has a set of eight propellers which will help it move the top speed is 130 km per hour pretty impressive also it has an intelligent flight control system autonomous flying capability that means it can take a flight on its own it is eco friendly as well because it provides zero carbon emission it works on electricity maximum flight altitude is 1000 meter and it has a fixed skid type landing gear okay so this these are the features of this taxi since the 1970s we could see that air vehicles were in development and the safety record has been continuously improving that is why the demand of these taxis are also improving by removing pilots they could achieve two things first of all more space for passengers or cargo secondly they did not have to pay the personal money as well nobody is driving the taxi that means we do not need to pay you boom in less expensive civil travel has also made sure that this market could reach heights and light personal jets it evolved from the advanced air mobility which was a joint initiative of the faa and nasa and the industry okay so because of this this was the origin of it remember nearly 150 companies worldwide are in the race with under testing uam unmanned aerial um, mobility prototypes okay moving ahead let us talk about the current situation you will know that china's xpeng is not the only one on 3rd october air taxi startup whisk aero it is backed by boeing it unveiled its sixth generation aircraft which has a cruising speed of 120 knots it does not have a pilot a range of 140 km with reserves and can fly at an altitude of 2500 to 4000 feet above the ground and they are saying that they are also going to start the inter city inter state taxi services which can be called by an app like uber so this is their vision how advance moving ahead let us talk about the scope of it the lift and cruise have started maturing that means how steadily they are lifting themselves and moving themselves this has improved because they are using lightweight materials easier to make them and conventional or bio derived jet fuels that power motors or high capacity batteries these technologies have also matured 
the electromechanical actuators would be very important for these aircrafts and fly by wire computers are needed to make 100 or small adjustments every day that means one thing that we have to achieve during these uams cruising is that they land exactly where they are needed that means precision is needed so for pinpoint precision more and more computer infrastructure will be needed moving ahead let us talk about the advantages first of all as we see on the roads every time we have these projects of widening these streets right that is causing a lot of harm to houses which you know which are raised down by the governments a part of the house which is raised by the government of course for a compensation to widen the streets still when population is ever increasing we can of course have less congestion in major airports and roads as well less congestions on highways greater flexibility in travel schedule because it will be on demand sometimes it can happen that after this particular um, you know time we won't get taxis in delhi or mumbai something like that happens so what happens on demand if you have a taxi use it more points of departure and arrival lowering the operation cost for small airlines as well as if you do not need to pay personal cost fuel cost and many other things that will also help a lot for every startup to increase the production moving ahead there are also disadvantages first of all cost for a country like india investment in these kind of ventures is is not going to be profitable for all of a sudden why because we have a huge population many people might not be able to afford that investment is a lot return is less that is the problem carrier capacity is also low a bus can carry hundreds of people maybe but if we talk about taxis air cabs they are just for two to four people then mechanical failures and mid air collisions if they happen who will be accountable because if the pilot is not there accountability cannot be set on the computer right moving ahead let us talk about scenario in india india's first air taxi service launched in chandigarh this is the gist from 23rd january 2021 but electric electric taxi was first of all unveiled in uh, dubai this time that we are discussing air taxis in india flyer blade joins hand with eve air mobility to develop 200 air taxis within 5 years so scope is there but let us see the scenario catering only to elite passengers because as i said that at the beginning of the particular cruising of air taxis it might not be possible for each and every one of us are able to afford it or not so it might happen that it is only for the elite which might cause further divide psychological divide double whammy of road and air congestion it could happen look at the population of india look at the youngsters who want to commute on a daily basis and if we think about that it can happen that not only the road is congested but air is also congested then comes infrastructure and land acquisition where uh, you know the co companies will get the proper amount of land from those people who are living on those land and they might need to be rehabilitated for creating infrastructure stopping and taking off point developing newer routes which do not collide every time so uh, newer roads de uh, routes development in the air is also going to be a task jobless growth it can happen that such mechanized uh, you can say vehicles they might lead in job losses where a country like india if we talk about there is not a very high scope of getting skilled workers for uh, uh, you know making sure that they are able to drive these taxis through computers autopilot system but what about those who are unskilled and they just do it for a living so it could also lead to jobless growth although these taxi electric taxis are not emitting you know carbon but because they are generated through electricity they are propelling themselves through electricity electricity is generated by coal in india majority of it so unless and until we do not have an electricity which we derive from renewable energy it is of course increasing the share of carbon by generating electricity through coal moving ahead let us talk about the question gitex 2022 World's largest tech showcase was held in UAE, Oman, Israel, Saudi Arabia. Answer it correctly. I will take your names the next segment. Thank you so much for watching.